Folks, we were at Stuart Trailers, as you know, um, last week, and they suggested that we uh, call in and see a local contractor, and we also just happened to spy this local contractor had a couple of uh, beautiful T7050s for sale, and we caught up with Chris, young Chris, who goes by the nickname Toff, but Chris has actually run his own Agri video channel, and um, so we bullied him into giving us some of his <laughs> videos to show these tractors and uh, some of the shirt trailers in action because the weather hasn't been great. So, Chris, tell us a little bit about yourself and what you're doing here and why you're leaning up against this lovely 7050. Well, I left school about two years ago and um, I started working for Wilson Contractor Self Employed, but I've come on full time since September and I, I'm usually on this 7050 here. Are you sad to see this 7050 go because it's been put up for sale now? I'm oh, sad to see it go because there's not a lot of them about. And it's a good truck to drive, it's comfy to sit in, it's good to be in all day, can't really complain. I'm going to point one thing up straight away about it because when you were driving it out and driving it in, it sounds a little bit different, but apparently the exhaust hasn't been touched. No, ever since they came home they've been quite loud, but whether it was because it was the first of the blue powers, I'm not sure, but they came home standard like that. I think they tried something different for a little bit of time. Yeah. What's your favourite job in the year? I like cart and silage. It's a good job, just flying about, flat out. Everybody, <laughs> everybody likes the silage. Yeah. Where exactly are we? Um, we're in Sochi in Aberdeenshire, up in the northeast of Scotland. At this time of the year, what would you mostly be doing? At this time of year, there's not a lot happening for us just now. Once the weather's good and spring approaches, we get sowing and lime spreading, and but we're just kind of spreading muck and dotting about just now. Wilson Contractors, I know them through your work, through watching your videos, and um, they run a fleet that I can only describe as immaculate. And I asked the question earlier, who does a lot of the wash, then you pop your hand up. Yes. Is it the Wilsons that are immaculate, or is it you that's immaculate? It's definitely the Wilsons that are immaculate. <laughs> Rumour has it that you take your boots off. And I do. You drive the tractor? Yeah, I drive with my socks. <laughs> wow. And that's self-inflicted. I think we need to send you one of our new interior cleaning kits. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say no to that either. <laughs> Don't worry, we sort that. No, um, I've got a carpet and over and I don't like getting the carpet messy and it's easier to be swept out if you keep your boots off and keeps it clean. But so. it's great that you're in a working environment, uh, Chris, that your boss encourages you to keep the, the plant and the gear tidy yeah. and that you're getting a chance to look after. I mean, these two tractors really are twins. Yeah. They're sitting, everything is the same on them. There's no one tractor that, that, that looks way worse than the other tractor tyre condition. Both the 7050s, I think, have they both crossed the 10,000 hour mark at this point? Um, one has and one hasn't. It's close, but it's not past yet. The condition that those tractors are in for the, you know, for the hours that yeah. has been on is testament to how clean and, and that that it's been kept. Wilson's run a fleet of uh, Stuart trailers. Um, they seem to be a great advocate of the, of the Stuart brand as their have they ever tried any other trailers or is it just hardcore it's Stuart country? It's been hardcore Stuart ever since I've been born anyway, but before there could have been, but ever since I've been here it's just been Stuart. Are they as good a trailer as they look? I would say they are. I don't think you could get much better a trailer. Good to pull, good to look at, good quality. And good look good well. behind a blue par. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Matches the colour. So you tell me the next time we come out in the summer to, to see you and spend a bit of time with you, you're telling me that the, these two 7050s will not be here? I don't think so. Sadly. That's sad. That's sad. Have you any idea what you're going to get upgraded to? No idea. A John Deere, maybe? I don't get told much. <laughs> maybe be a John Deere. What do you think? I wouldn't say no to a John Deere myself, but I'm pretty sure the other two would. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. <laughs>
police say it ain't true. Had to go and cop two. Hell, now we can't fit now. Wild ones, like we fresh out the cage. Showtime, baby. Fresh off the stage. Bad little mama, fresh off the page. Front like you love, but you know that you hate it. Yeah, you know no better. Yeah, you know no better. Yeah, you know no better. Ooh. Yeah, you know no better. Say you're different. Who you kidding? Yeah, you know no better. Ooh, say that talk for the ones who don't know no better. Off of my whip, whipping that, whipping that, whipping that. Yellow and the purple on mix, mixing that, mixing that, mixing that. Call my bitch from the tropics, yeah. You know what she's sitting at. Taking shots from a bottle at the bottle at the bottle. Hell no, we ain't sipping that. Yeah. Wild ones, like we fresh out the cage. Showtime, baby, fresh off the stage. Bad little mama, fresh off the page. Front like you love, but you know that you hate it. Yeah, you know no better. Yeah, you know no better. Yeah, you know no better. Talk for the ones who don't know no better. 